What's going on YouTube? This is your guy Garrett from King's Blood Gaming and I'm back with my Sony E3 2017 expectations. No, not predictions, my expectations. Just some things I want from Sony. I want to see from Sony at E3 2017. Now, before I get into this, please hit that like and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it so much. I need the love I'm trying to grow over here. Now, back to it. One of the things I want to see Sony do is bring back a classic. You have 60 million consoles out there in the wild. Bring something back. Like there are there are so many franchises in the mud right now and the graveyard just waiting to be brought back. I don't care if it's an exclusive or a multi-plat, just have it on that big stage up there. Give us a twisted metal, you know, some realistic graphics. That would be great. Give us a siphon filter. Give us a shinobi shit. <laughs> what? In this atmosphere? Put some story to it? Come on now. Bring back Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden, some call it. Bring back a, a Moto Storm. I like Moto Storm. Yes, I love racing games. So what? Bring back. Where the fuck is SOCOM? <laughs> Bring back SOCOM. Bring back SOCOM. Yes, I want to see it. I would love to see those running on that PS4, especially on that PS4 Pro. Beautiful. Also, I would like to see more VR support. Now, I don't want to see experiences, but I want to see full games. Games that will probably take days to beat due to the warning about wearing the VR headsets too long. So, you know, the idea of VR is good, but it will go the way of Kinect if it has no support. So come on, man, put some good, interesting games out there for VR. I also like that, like, Riggs was a good idea to me because I'm a, like, I come from mech games. I'm a mech assault player. So Riggs will be like, wonderful. But you know, ah, people just didn't support it, I guess. You know, they shut the studio down. Jesus, I don't understand how these, how, these, how people just don't support good games. Now, back to it price drops vr needs a price drop definitely vr is at a price point that is not consumer friendly it's doing well but it's still not consumer friendly 299 sounds a lot better than 399 what is it 499 with the bundle trust me uh also i think they should drop the slim to 199 and the PS4 Pro to around 300 to 350, depending on where the Scorpio price lands. That 300 mark will be hard to deal with for the Scorpio though, man. It will be putting pressure on the Scorpio. Like you gotta understand, people, people care a lot about what they spend. Like, <laughs> put it like this. You see people out there with fake J's on every day. Let, let's not lie. We see people with fake J's every day, B. You know why they bought them fake Jones? Because them real Jones was 200 yet. They was $200. You can get the fake ones for 60. Trust me, you know how it goes. Uh, some, I, I also expect to see Sony flex those multi-plat trailers on that E3 stage. Yeah, you have the four biggest multi-platform games of the year. Show them off. Fuck it. I know Rockstar doesn't go to E3, but you may have to get them off their asses and on that stage. These screenshots aren't enough. We want to see gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2. Sony, send that bag to Rockstar. Trust me, they'll more than likely be there. Just send that bag over there. You would kill E3. Trust me. We want to see more gameplay of Destiny 2. I want to see more gameplay of Call of Duty World War II. Multiplayer gameplay. Yeah. And we want to see some story gameplay from Battlefront. Yeah, that, I'm really interested in that. Microsoft has all the money, yet you outbid them for marketing deals. Flex on them. It's your right. <laughs> we also would like to see those exclusives. Now, First and foremost, I would like to see more release dates. Some good exclusives in Sony's goodie bag are still waiting on a release date. So one of the most anticipated games coming on PS4 is, for me, 
is Detroit Become Human. To me, it kind of has that Blade Runner feel in terms of having androids in it. I'm a big Blade Runner fan, so you already know. I love it. The graphics are beautiful. It reminds me of some, some um, Crytek work. Like, I need this game amongst my collection, Sony. Come on now, show me. I would like to see more of Days Gone. It looks fun, although it also looks like something I would catch on sale. Same way I think of the Dead Rising series, but it looks fun. I want to see more. Spider-Man doesn't look like it's coming this year, but I need to see that on a big stage. I do. I need to see more gameplay, and I'm praying Venom has a good role in this game or he's in the game. I'm, I'm a big Venom fan. Sorry, I got to throw that in there. Oh, and sidebar, a mature Spider-Man game based off the Carnage story would be godly. Trust me. Uh... There will be CGI trailers for Death Stranding and The Last of Us 2. I'm definitely interested in those. Gameplay trailers seem like a stretch, but they would be great. Um, I can't forget about the PlayStation Grail. God of War 4. People are doubting this game. Most of the Xbox guys, but they're doubting it. Some are call They called the demo that was last shown a walking simulator. Like, what? Come on, man. It's God of War. Don't, 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 don't be disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? It's time for Sony to remind everyone who Kratos is. I wasn't a PC, I wasn't a PS3 gamer, but even I know how much of a bad of a badass that Kratos is. We need to see action and some wild fights, you know? But back on that e back on that Death Stranding game, like, this is probably the most compelling game at E3. People are dying to see more of this game. The CGI trailers from E3 and PSX looked amazing. I need to see more of that. I need some uh, I need some sort of understanding of what the story for this game is. I think Kojima may have another classic on his hands. As we already know, he did the Metal Gear the Metal Gear series. I'm a big fan of that. Been playing that game since NES. This game looks to be another hit in the bag for sony on the exclusives front sony please continue to show us the future this is what we gamers like we like to know what is coming in the future to please keep this up microsoft seems to have lost their way in this department since the scalebound thingy keep showing us the future and last but not least uh this is kind of a runner-up for me because I don't fully believe in it, but it could be. I don't know. Uh, the new PlayStation handheld. I think right now is the perfect time to get back into the handheld business. Um, Nintendo has been an unchallenged king in this business for way too long. Way too long. I hope and pray Sony gets back to putting pressure on Nintendo and it's long overdue. I hope they have learned their lesson from the Vita and have a strong plan for another handheld if they plan to do one. And uh, good luck to Sony. E3 is, uh, their E3 is, I think it's Monday night. So everyone tune in. I will have the Xbox version of this video tomorrow. So keep your eyes on my channel. Keep your eyes when I post, keep your eyes on when I post it. I will be posting it. Thank you. King's Blood. Out.